I was the production manager, so I was basically in charge of contacting the people at the White Rose Music Fest and staying on top of what they wanted and getting in touch with them and when we needed to be there, what we needed to bring, where we can keep our equipment and just things along those lines. So halfway through the project, I was asked to help manage the crew. I was in charge of the crew positions, schedules, communication, and on-site planning, which included organizing a location survey and equipment placements. With John and Wynn's leadership, they helped their team of seven advanced production students prepare for one of their biggest shooting events that the college has given them. With the extensive planning out of the way, the crew set out for the site, the York Revolution Stadium. The team arrived at People's Bank Park at 12.30 p.m. on October 7th, giving themselves ample time to prepare for the first act of the festival at 4. And what are you guys doing right now? Right now we're kind of, we already set up all the equipment. We might be having people test equipment out. Um, we're not allowed in until I think four. So right now we're just kind of laying low. Um, the game plan we discussed earlier, like in the week. So we are pretty much, unless we need a meeting, we're pretty much just laying low. With the go ahead from the venue, the crew entered the field for some additional scouting and equipment assembly. We know we need to get the camera set up and get ready outside of the production room that we're in, which is the press box, but once everything's set up, it's play by ear, we'll go where we need to go, shoot what we need to shoot, and change batteries, change anything that needs to be changed. So it's boom, 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 a bang, bang play. It's game time decision, what we gotta do. You're never, you're never gonna know in advance. I think one of the great things that this, the White Rose Music Festival did was it put students in a situation where it was unique. They'd never, uh, most of the students that were involved had never been, you know, backstage for a concert, uh, setting up the video, setting up the audio, capturing stuff during, during the, the actual time that the concert was going on. I think that that's a unique experience that they may never get again. I think one of the main things that I learned uh, with the White Rose Music Festival is how to work in a group this large. I don't think I've actually worked in a group of this size before. Normally it's just been like me, two or three other people. I think the White Rose Music Festival is a great project for students to be able to work on. In addition to getting good field experience, we also make good relationships. We got to work with a nice solid group. Working a two-day event was Definitely a first time thing uh, throughout my experience in this program. We didn't really cover anything like this before. Working with the students has been great. Uh, being able to give you guys the best communication uh, from our end as a professional to uh, making sure that the students understood how this stuff worked going forward and then being able to have the students uh, communicate to me what they needed. Uh, but it's been an overall great experience. It was kind of cool to get a media badge and be a part of a production that was with an actual client, not just on campus. This is probably the biggest thing I've done with my own equipment, and it was really nice to get that experience, especially being that close and getting it, getting to use it in the real world um, for a company as big as this one. I was working with video and the audio for the video, um, so I definitely got to actually enjoy the concerts more. Um, and I also got to speak with some of the artists during interviews um, and get a perspective of festivals and being on the road um, from a different area of work. Managing the crew is very different from managing um, production-based type stuff like contacting clients and stuff. So I had to re kind of position my thinking on how to approach my peers. It was it was a very proud moment for 
for everybody on staff here, all the faculty, to see our students out at arming cameras and microphone systems and, and communications technologies and actually going out and doing high-end television.